Hey ho, this is a very typical problem. So this person says they have a problem while debugging a simple buffer overflow and they are following the binary exploitation series that I made. But unfortunately, they are not actually following the series and that will become apparent when you look at this code here. When I disassemble main, I get the address of the function 1168. But then if I execute the command start run and disassemble, the address changes to 555. So the address of the win function also changes, but none of the values work. I started writing a response and I decided to make a video. So first observation is these addresses are very small. That's because this is position independent code. This is code that is intended to be uh, placed into memory at various locations uh, thanks to ASLR. So you are affected by ASLR and what you're viewing here is the address without ASLR. It basically starts at zero and it doesn't have a fixed address. When you actually watch the tutorials, you will notice that there are fixed addresses because these old binaries were not compiled with position independent code, so are not affected by ASLR. That's why you should use the protostar VM and not compile it yourself. So this tells me this person has compiled the code on their own system and are not using the VM. And the second problem here is then clearly shown when the binary is actually executed and then ASLR is applied. Now you can already tell that this is not really randomized as address ASLR would indicate. But this is because you are running this in GDB and then GDB disables ASLR and then it will be loaded to this fixed address that you can recognize with 5555 and then you can see the offset here at the end. Um, so this also then, you know, shows me that this person co compiled it themselves. And then another big issue is that this is 64 bit. You can see this because the address is very long. And you can see registers like RSP, RBP, RAX. So this is 64 bit code, but the original tutorial here is actually uh, about 32 bit. So uh, when you look here into the video and we look at uh, the addresses, you see that the addresses here are hard coded, are very short. And you can see that instead of RSP, we have ESP. So please use the actual uh, VM in um, the actual protostar vm which you can find on exploited education slash protostar slash uh yeah whatever and on here it says it's um superseded by phoenix so you can play that as well it will be a bit different but there is a download link and uh all the resources you should find here the iso for exploit access protostar and if you use this vm then everything should be as shown in the videos